What's up guys? Welcome back to the Foodie TV. We hope you're having an amazing day. I'm Damien. And I'm Richard. And today we're back at Misoo again to showcase another hidden spot here. And if you love noodles, this episode is for you. If you guys ever heard of udon, there's this really great place inside the supermarket that has the best beef udon and we're going there and try it right now. So let's go. Let's go. All right, guys, we are at the udon spot that I was talking about. It is called Sanuki Saimen Mugimaru. And I'm going to show you guys the ordering process. Super easy and very interactive. So what you're going to do here is uh, you're going to want to make sure you get a tray because there's going to be some stuff there that you're going to want to put on here. You can't carry it all together. Okay. Uh, this is the menu. And what we like to order is the beef udon. The beef udon here is super good. So I'll go ahead and get started. Hi, can I get the uh, small beef udon, please? Beef udon? Okay. Yes, and can I get the uh, on toma egg? On top or on the side? On top. On top? Yes. So what I just ordered you guys was the on toma egg. It's a egg that's like slightly cooked. It looks just like that. Super good. I always get that egg. So she's going to go ahead now and make my udon. And we just wait here until she's done. She's going to ask you if you want onions on it. And I always want my onions on it. So we're going to wait for that, okay? Here we go. Look at that. Nice. Super excited, you guys. Here comes the egg. Wow, look at that. She's gonna pour it right inside into my udon. Delicious. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, so thank, you much. thank you. Thank you. All right, so we got our udon and tempura is up to you guys. I really like the sweet potato. This is one of my favorite. Oh, you're going to have to get one of these containers up here. It's all self-serve. Depending how much you want to get, you can get a small one or a big container. I don't think I'll be getting much. Sweet potato is my favorite. They have one left, so super lucky that we got that. Uh, the pumpkin is usually very, very good, but I'm going to skip on that today. Um, Something else that I always really get is the shrimp tempura. They batter this with the shrimp and it tastes so good. The crunch on this is amazing. So gotta get, get that. I'm gonna put their tongue back. So once you make down here, you're uh, gonna pay here. Hello, um, where do I get the tempura sauce at? This is tempura sauce. Oh, okay. Do you want more? Yeah. So they have the toppings here. You can add some tempura flakes onto your udon, just like that. Gives it that extra crunch. And then this tempura sauce comes with the tempura. So we're gonna go ahead and get that. Some chili flakes, I love some chili flakes on mine. We're gonna put it on there. And that's it, all right. All right guys, this is the moment we've been waiting for. A big giant bowl of udon. Richard has said good things about this place, so I'm super excited to try it. And um, I really love udon. I've attempted to make it myself so many times, but no matter how many times I try to recreate it, this place has always got it down to the T. And not only that they got their udon down, their tempura is always fresh. They fry it like every second. Once it runs out, it comes out piping hot. And uh, their noodles here are made fresh. I forgot to tell you oh, that. I didn't they, know that. They make wow. their noodles here actually at this place fresh every day. So we're eating actually fresh udon noodles. Super it's not, it's not nothing packaged in here or anything. Okay, so this is gonna be like a taste of Japan. Yes. I actually just came back from Japan, so I ate a lot of the udon over there. Yeah. And look at these slices of beef. Oh my god. So tender. They're super off. thin. Wow. I'm gonna try the beef first. Let's try the beef first. Let's go. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Beefy. You can get that soup that's sucked into oh, the beef. Yeah. Beefy. It has like a little sweet, sweet taste to it. Kind of Super like, tender. It basically melts in your mouth when you put it in. There's not much chewing you need to do. It kind of just breaks as you bite it. Let's go for the noodles. Oh, man. Look at these noodles, guys. Yeah, look at that. Nice. Let's go. Mmm. You know. The packaged one always has like a little bit more chew to it. Yeah. But these you can tell it's fresh because it breaks That's so easily. Super soft. Really soft. Super soft. soft but that. it has a good chew to it still. It's nothing where it's kind of like too soft. Mm. No. 
It holds its texture, holds its shape. Oh, that's really good. It was a amazing. Tender. Very tender. We didn't get to show you guys this egg that we ordered with it right here. Oh, you always have to get the egg. Always got to get it. So it's like a half-cooked egg. Uh, what I like to do with it is I kind of like break the yolk. Yep. And then I put my uh, noodles in it so it gets some of that yolk noodle. Like that. Like that. Yes. Mm. It instantly gives your noodle this creamy, mm. kind of yolky texture. Yeah, it's like a poached egg, guys. Yeah, but cooked to perfection. Cooked to perfection. I'll show you guys the tempura here. Mm. I still haven't got the slurping down that they do in Japan. <laughs> <laughs> One day. That One broth day. is so rich, perfectly cooked, seasoned well. Not too salty, oh, but it's tempura. but it's rich. Yeah, I'm gonna try some of the tempura now. So this is the sweet potato tempura. Uh, it comes with some tempura sauce. What I like to do is kind of dip that. Let's take a bite of it. Wow. Yo, give me a piece of that. Check it out now. Yeah. Can't do that to me. Do that, man. <laughs> you got the last piece, bro. <laughs> Gotta share. This was the last piece right, of let's sweet try potato. This out. Did you dip or no? Yeah, dip. Yeah. I like to dip, eat, and I have to take a bite of tempura. I go back to the noodles and I get some mm. different texture wow. as I go. Mm. Nice and crispy, and light. Mm. I like that a lot. Mm. It looks like it would be like heavy or way too much, but the tempura is kind of like very light and flaky. Mm -hmm. and so I good. personally thought, looking at that, because it's been sitting outside, I thought it was not going to be crispy at all, but the crispiness has been maintained. So yeah. I don't know what they've done. I don't know how they do it, but they keep that crisp on there even though it sits out like that. I feel like it gets even crispier because it's sitting out. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, shrimp tempura. tempura. Big this shrimp tempura is. I'm just gonna go with my fingers. Yeah. Don't mind me, guys. Here, just gotta dip it into the tempura sauce. Wow. I don't know if you guys can hear that crunch. Crunch town. Once you bite into it, and it just crunch, 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 <laughs> and then super good. The one time it stopped crunching is when I stopped chewing. Shrimp tempura is one of my favorite things too, so that's really good. Like yeah. I said, every time I bite into mm. tempura, I take a bite of the noodles, so I get different types of texture in my mouth, and my body just like overwhelmed with just wow, like what's going on? Yeah, I, gotta, I, gotta, I gotta take, I gotta do the rich technique. Mm -hmm. Dip. Flavor town when you guys do that. Let's take a bite. Everything complements each other so well. Mm. And if it feels a little too dry, could you put tempura? That's why we got the tempura soup, I mean the udon soup here. Kind of just blends everything down and washes everything down so good Super together. Super careful. Oh my is, god. This is very close, or if not similar or the same as Japan. Yeah. I just came back a couple weeks ago, so this is super good. Highly recommend. I've tried udon everywhere, but this place, like wow. I said, can't beat it. Can't beat it. Once you go in here and you try this udon, you're gonna keep coming back for it. And not only that, the udon is good. The tempura. If you like crunchy stuff, I love mm -hmm. crunchy stuff. So I'm always get ordering the tempura, even though there it's a lot of food. Mm -hmm. This is a small, you guys. I forgot to tell you guys. You order a small, but there is a lot of amount of food mm -hmm. in here. Price right? is great too. It was a small. It was about thirteen dollars, if I recall bucks. correctly. Yeah. Um, you got a huge portion of noodles. Good amount of protein in there. Yeah. Man. Always got to get the tempura on the side, guys. Um, I would definitely recommend this. Thumbs up for me. Thanks for taking me here, Richard. Of course, man. Uh, this place is wild. I'm here. All right. Yeah. So if you guys uh, <laughs> enjoyed this video, please give us a like. Uh, subscribe. Any comments or any places you guys want us to try, put it in the comments. And we'll take a look. And then we'll go and eat there and try it. What do you think, Vivian? It's good. And, uh, you know, we're super excited to continue this food journey to share with you guys and show you guys around at the Hidden Gems. Yep. And, you know, there's going to be a lot to look forward to, so we're many, super excited. We hope you're super excited, um, and we hope you enjoyed all the episodes so far. Yeah, and we'll see you guys in the next food episode. See you guys.